All right. Now we're doing free code camp, JavaScript algorithms and data structure, basic JavaScript declare JavaScript variables. All right. So in computer science, data is anything that is meaningful to the computer. JavaScript provides eight different data types, which are undefined, null, boolean, string, symbol, big int, number, and object. So for example, computers distinguish between numbers, such as the number 12, and strings, such as 12 with uh, quotes around it, dog with quotes around it, or one, two, three cats with quotes around it, which are collections of characters. Computers can perform mathematical operations on a number, but not on a string. That's very important. Uh, variables allow computers to store and manipulate data in a dynamic fashion. They do this by using a label to point to the data rather than using the data itself. All right. Uh, any of the eight types may be stored in a variable. We're going to go in variable. I guess we're doing it right now. Uh, variables are similar to the X and Y variables that we use in mathematics. Exactly. Which means they're a simple name to represent the data we want to refer to. Computer variables differ from mathematical variables in that they store, pardon me, in that they can store different values at different times. All right. So we tell JavaScript, we tell JavaScript to create or declare a variable by putting the keyword var in front of it, like so. So we'll have a var and then our name like this. This is the name of the variable. Uh, so this creates a variable called our name. In JavaScript, we end statements with semicolons. Uh, variable names can be made up of numbers, letters, and dollar signs or underscores, but may not contain spaces or start with a number. Uh, we're going to use the var keyword to create a variable called my name. And so here's the hint. We're just going to do exactly what this is. All right. So we'll say var, var, and then we'll say my capital name, do a little camel click. Pardon me, camel case, and then we'll just cap it off with a, a semicolon. So let's run the test. Looks good and submit it. All right. Now we're on to storing values with the assignment operator and we'll see you next time.